everyone back at the marina uh, for a bit of an update it's a it's a very wet day today which is a bit of a surprise after all the, the dryness we've had so uh, um, had to change a few plans with a lot of the canals uh, being closed because of water sh shortages and um, they're just unnavigable boats are getting stuck um, so uh, more about that later but um, I'll show you around the books as a lot changed okay so we'll see you in a minute as you can see, there is quite a lot changed. Um, they've lined a lot of the boat now. You can see they put the, the, the wiring in, the tails there for the LED lights that are going to go in. Going to be putting the light switches in later today. The lining's really, really nice. See, they've done a, a, a very good job of that. They've just got to put some of the trim up on the edges just to finish it off. As you can see, one of the radiators is in. Well, actually, all the radiators are in. So they look smart, actually. They look, they're a really nice colour. We're going for that um, anthracite colour, which looks very good. So we're coming through. See, you put the, put the bit of the frame in there, which is where the door's going to close up against. And you can see our... The wiring for the light switches there as well on the left hand side as I say they're going in today. This will come through. There you go, they put my bathroom radiator in, so went for something a little bit a little bit different there. Um, so it fits nicely just under the gunnels there. And that switch there, this is going to be for our wheel gopa, which is what you turn on when you're in the shower and it empties the shower water overboard. It's like a pump. Um, let's see here some of the panels which look really 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 nice starting to see a really again I've got to watch that the boat looks completely different though with the linings in it really does and again you can see the door frame here which is, is what your door was going to close up against now I had a bit of a problem with this radiator it was a bit uh, worse for wear when it turned up um, through the post um, the courier looked like they'd been kicking it all over the warehouse to be honest there was only half the cardboard on it but it looked in okay condition so we'll contact the company and they were they were they were good about it they just knocked 30 quid off kind of thing so it looked in perfect working order but when they fitted it it's actually got a little bit of a leak um, which I'll show you on the screen now is a bit of a video of this it's a little little pinprick leak and it's leaking the the coolant out the water so we've got a new one that came the other day we contacted the company um and they sent the new one out straight away so the, the guys are going to be replacing that again you can see there's going to be another switch as you come into the bedroom which will turn these lights on so you can see how working we've gone for six in here uh rather than eight because it's it's just too bright so this will switch these on and also it will switch the bathroom on as well. You can see all the piping's been put through for the radiators, 22 mil piping. Um, and this is where our 240 sockets are. You can see one of them's in already. Um, so we're going to have plenty of power sockets. And again, just showing you the job they've done at the front. It looks really, really good. I'm seeing really again, aren't I? But it does look very, very good. Smart job indeed. The wood, uh, the pattern on the wood as well, really stands out. And I'm going to be boxing all of this in. This is the water tank. I'm going to be boxing this in um, and using this as a desk area. Um, they've got the glass. You can see the air vents here as well. So this is going to be glazed. So at the front here is where I'll be sitting as a desk with a with a view so really nice setup obviously in the summer i can open them doors get a nice draft coming through with the uh, portals so it's coming on fantastically it really is uh, as i say they're going to be doing the trims finishing all this off today putting the light switches in so a lot has changed a lot of wood when you think about it there's a lot of wood goes on to a boat a lot of steel and a lot of everything else but uh, when you see it all against the walls, it's, it's a lot of uh, ash-faced ply, I believe this is, which has a really nice pattern on it. I like wood with a bit of a pattern. 
some of the oak ones don't have that much going on but you can see here they've cut the circles out these are all going to be trimmed so they, they fit nicely and look fitted um, but for now obviously they're just remaining open again you can see the light switch here which will which will operate the bathroom lights and the living room and again that's where the uh, stove is going to go in the corner and it's really quite bright it looks it looks very nice really pleased with it also as well something else to bear in mind which which i've had to because of my height is the headroom so you can see i'm six foot one and even right at the side here there's a there's a, a real good few inches between me and the roof which was something i was um a little concerned about because narrowboats sometimes don't have that much headroom so this one's this one's very good. You can see the temporary steps in here as well, as we come through. This, as I say, will be the kitchen area. You can see the power sockets. Uh, there's also one behind here, which you can just see, because this is where the washer's gonna go. We're gonna plumb in the skin fittings, so the washer goes straight, it, it, it goes straight overboard with the gray water. And you use ecologically sound products because of that reason. Same with the, the basin, the wash basin, sorry, the, the sink, which is gonna go here. Again, you use things like Ecova, so it, it's safe for the aquatic life and the ducks um, when it goes over broad, because it literally goes straight over. See that there's the 12 volts here as well coming in, because this is where the oven goes and we hob. So this is the ignition. So when you turn the gas on, when you press the button, you get that tick, 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 tick. That's the 12 volt to ig ignite the hob, the gas. What else has changed? You can see the air vents have gone in, so the covers uh, just have to go in for them, which is nice. A light here, which is going to light this lovely little area. You can see the um, expansion tank. This is for the heater, I believe. I uh, could be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure that's for the, the central heating boiler, which is in the engine bay. Um, I might get a chance to show you that actually because the, it's just stopped raining which is pretty cool and the electrics you can see all the plugs again not much has changed here because until I finish things off they can't really board this up properly and finish it off so let's get the panels up have a look um, and hopefully I can show you the central heating system again just to touch on there's the temporary steps so that on the last video when I made my steps which are well I wouldn't say they're better than them, but <laughs> they've got storage, so let's just put it that way. My steps are going to go nicely there. Um, they're a lot longer, if you like, so it's going to give her a lot more step room, especially for Isla to come in and out of the boat as well. So I'll get the, the um, deck boards up and show you the boiler, hopefully. See you in a minute. And underneath here, you can see the fit of the central heating system. That little unit there, believe it or not, um, it's about the size of a shoebox that is the boiler so that runs off the diesel tank just behind us here and that will heat the hot water in the the tank which you can see just over here but also uh, that heats the central heating system so we've got a few ways of heating the hot water really obviously the engine will heat the hot water and so will the boiler here so it gives you the option in the winter whatever we need to use because you won't always have the engine on obviously and it, it works basically just like a domestic combi boiler in that respect you've got controls inside you can set a timer uh, or you can just turn it on on demand so really quite good well back home now everyone another exciting day down at the marina lots of changes i think you'll agree it's coming on really well so we're, we're, we're very pleased uh, everything's on time um something i mentioned at the start though um there's been a few changes to our plans because with all the dry weather we've had, there's a lot of water shortages at the moment. So a lot of the canals are a lot lower than they should be, um, which is, means a lot of canals or, sh or stretches of them are now unnavigable. Boats are, boats are getting stuck now. Uh, the Canal and River Trust has closed quite a few different parts of the canal. Um, you can see from the video I'm showing you in the corner here, um, the, the canal where Lim Marina is, is is down by about a foot. I noticed straight away when I got there because normally I step slightly up onto the boat, but today I had to step down into onto the boat. So the water level has dropped quite a bit. Uh, Chris at the marina was saying it's gone down about eight inches. It's 
it's it's gone slightly it's gone back up a bit since uh, a few days ago we had a little bit of rain but because of that i was going to be moving the boat up myself from Lim up up to the uh, the area where we are near wakefield which is going to be uh, an epic eight day adventure with me and isla um because karen's going to stay at home to sort a few things out and, and work so it's going to be a real adventure uh but I don't think that's going to be possible so what we've had to make the decision we've decided to have the boat put on a low loader so once we've had it um, and and painted it etc it's going to be put onto a lorry and actually taken up via road it's going to be put back into the cut into the canal up near the Bradford area and then I'm going to sail it back down to, to our marina so it's still going to be, you know, two, three day sail back down. So it's still going to be an adventure, but uh, strange, strange times at the moment. Uh, you know, it's Chris, Saint Chris. Um, it, you know, we've never known to be so dry, have we? Really? So it's, it is what it is. So that's the the change in plan. But I'll keep you updated about that. But that's definitely happening. We're, we're not going to change that. We can't take the risk. So anyway, there's your update. Um, great. You know, so much has changed. But um, stay tuned, um, we're going to be going back down, hopefully, well, we're due to get the keys in about three weeks. We'll actually have the keys in three weeks, so well, that's the plan. So um, we'll own it, which is amazing, you know, and then we'll be getting it out of the water. Um, we're going to put some more coats of blacken on, because obviously it's blacken on already, but we're going to give it a few more coats while it's out the water. Um, next door to Hesford Marine, uh, we're also going to start priming it um, under coating it painting it hopefully if the weather's good for us we're going to get the fireplace fitted um the beds going in the shower the list is endless as you can imagine so hopefully there's going to be a lot of video footage from there so um we'll we'll do what we can to get it up in time and, and when we can uh, but thanks very much for watching if you're enjoying the videos please do like and subscribe it makes a huge difference to the channel lets me know that you know it's worth just doing what i'm doing um feel free to comment by all means um, and i'll see you again next time okay take care everyone bye bye